Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to select the clouds and we're going to use the channel walk method. And I have PS Basic Selections Channel Walk Right One. Okay. Now, what does it mean by channel walk? If you go over to the layers panel, usually what's associated with the layers is usually the channels and the paths. Just click on channels. If you don't see it, you can always go to window, channels. Okay. RGB is red, green, blue. This is the composite of these three, as you see here. If you click on each channel, red, green, blue, you can see that these are grayscale images. So what is, what is the purpose of the channel walk? Well, sometimes selecting something is easier if there is a difference between the background and what you're selecting. And sometimes channels offers you another option. Yes, we can use different methods to select these clouds, but I just wanted to show you another method. So what we can do is we're going to look at the red. So the red, we can see the background has a nice background, the clouds, there's a difference. What about the green? And it looks like there's a little a less contrast between the clouds in the background or the sky, you would say. And then the blue, no, no, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to use blue for nothing. Okay, so we're going to click on the red. And then I'm going to choose the magic wand tool. I'm going to set it, uh, leave it at its default 32, contiguous, because the color I want to select is not the cloud. I want to think the opposite. I want to select the color blue, as we see here, because that would be easier than selecting the cloud. Okay, so I'm going to just click. It's on contiguous. It doesn't, I don't have to worry about non contiguous because there's no colors in here. And just click, and there we go. Now I'm going to click on the RGB composite. I'm going to go back to layers, and I want to select the clouds. Well, in order to select the clouds, I need to invert the selection. Shortcut, if you go to select, Inverse, Control Shift I. That's another handy one to know. Okay, so Control Shift I. Watch what happens to the selection. It now focuses on the clouds. And because we have a selection in place, I can now use Refine Edge. Look at that. That's great. We do have some blue fringing on the end, but let's see if we can fix that. So one of the first things we're going to do is increase the radius. Wow, nice. Look at that. Uh, uh, edge detection or the edge the refine edge is really cleaning up a lot okay now I'm gonna go over to the shift edge and contract it a little bit more not bad not bad I'm gonna see if I can de de decontaminate some colors here but I uh, there is another way of doing it but let me see here if, that, if this will work okay it got rid of some that's not bad I'm gonna say a new layer with layer mask of course I don't um, destroy anything, click OK. Okay, we still have some blue down here. There are other ways to get rid of that blue, but it's not important at this point. Now what I'm going to do is add just a solid color to show you how well this selection was. And uh, that definitely would work. Yeah, we'll choose orange. I mean, that's pretty bright. bright. And then I'm going to pull this under it so that we can see. Look at that. So we selected clouds again in less than two minutes by using the channel walk method and the refine edge. And look at that. That is very nice. Yes, you can clean up here, but that's nice.